I'm here with Brian and Sam from uh, Crew or Chicago Rowing Union. Guys, thanks so much for having us out here this morning. You're welcome. So we're about to launch these uh, boats. Am I saying that right in the water? Yeah. Racing shells. Yeah. Racing shells. Okay. Good start. I got boat <laughs> down. Sam's going to help coach us out a little bit. But uh, Brian, talk a little bit about Chicago Rowing Union. You've been around a little over a decade. It's a yeah. great organization to get people involved in, in your sport. Yeah, I I've been here about four years now. Uh, we started in 2005 as a way to really promote rowing in the uh, LGBT community. Um, it's not just gay though, it's straight, young, old, skilled, athletic, non-athletic, whole mix of people. So it's a great place. And we started off here in the morning, so we're launching here pretty early, but there's a lot of activity here in Skokie. A lot of teams have already launched out here. It's a gr is, is the morning time a great time to practice for people? It is. We currently don't have a program that practices, but yes, it's pretty busy here in the morning. You've got high schools, uh, universities, come out to practice. All yeah. right, so Sam, I want to ask you, because you're the coach of the team, and you're, yeah. do you think you can coach me later on by the end of the show for me to be rowing? I think I can, yeah. All right, so <laughs> this seems to be cheating. They've got a motor on this boat. What's happening with this one over here? What is this? This is the launch. This is the coach's boat. That's what I drive next to the actual racing shell, so I can coach from there. What sort of coaching is involved? I mean, because I imagine that people say, oh, it's just, you know, rowing through the water, but it's a lot about teamwork. It's a lot about working together. There's a lot involved. Yeah, it's syncing people up, making sure everyone is like being held accountable for what they're doing on the water, <laughs> uh, like pushing people mentally. I coach pieces, I tell them race pieces, like you gotta go all out, coach technique rows, all sorts of things. So I'm gonna find out a little bit more about that. We so got crew here that's gonna tell us the weather. And Sam, you're the coach, and being in sync is really important in rowing, right? It is. What can go wrong if you're not in sync? <laughs> Uh, you get last. <laughs> you, yeah. you lose. You lose yeah. the race. All right, you guys ready to tell us the weather here? Yeah. Uh, that was a little scattered. I need the coach to really give it to us. All right, Sam, you take it away. All right, guys, what's the weather going to be like today? Sunny. What about this morning? 75. How about in the afternoon? 80. All right. All right, so I've got the easy job right now. You mentioned the rowing. I'm not doing any of the rowing right now. We're in a boat that's going to be going alongside the rowing crew here for a little bit. Uh, this is called a John Boater. What do you call this kind of boat, Sam? A racing shell. A eight. race. Okay, yeah. well, that's the racing shell. What is this boat? This is just the, this launch, is the boat. launch boat. The this launch is boat. The launch boat. Okay, so we're coming up alongside now the crew rowing team. They are here on the right hand side. And uh, Sam, I know you're trying to do some coaching too while you're doing this. If you can kind of describe what's happening, this person obviously with the little microphone along here, that's the coxswain, right? Talk what's happening right now. Yeah, the coxswain is currently in the front. They're steering the boat. They're also coaching on the water. They kind of are a middleman between me and the rowers. They relay it. I'm not out there for the race, so it's imperative we have them. Then the guy in the red hat, he's the stroke seat. He sets the rhythm and they all follow. The first, they're rowing by sixes right now, so this is stern six. The stern's the front of the boat, the bow is the back. And uh, right now they're just doing what's called steady state rowing, fairly light pressure, just trying to get a rhythm, just working together, finding the groove. Can I be like one of the guys in the back that's not rowing right now? How does that work? Or is that just a, as they're steadying the boat as she goes? When you go by sixes or fours, you have people sitting out to set the boat up, keep it stable, just make it easy to focus on your technique and your rhythm. Once you go all eight is when you uh, gotta focus more on like balancing and setting the boat. All right, so what do you do when you're coaching with, you got the megaphone here, what sorts of commands would be you be yelling out of them? For this type of row, it would be, uh, for a technique row, a lot of technical feedback really on them about timing, uh -huh. about what they're doing with their bodies. There's a lot, rowing looks simple, but it's a lot more complicated than you think. I'm exhausted sitting in this boat, not even rowing, guys. Okay, Sam, you keep on doing your work, guys. I'm gonna be hopefully getting in one of these boats here soon and rowing, we'll see if I can do it. I can barely sit in the boat as I do it right now. You guys wanna do a little singing here this morning? No! <laughs> Are you sure? Come on, a little row, row, row your boat, baby? No? No? Nope, they're going away. No singing. Hey, Sam, coach here of crew, you wanna do a little singing with me here today? Uh, no, I'll you, stick to coaching. <laughs> stick to coaching. All right, fine. Well, now that I made it into the boat, I think I'm ready to get going. Brian, I'm replacing Dan. Are you worried? I am not worried at all. He's been a drag on this boat since day <laughs> one. <laughs> all right. So hopefully I can improve on it. Can you show me one stroke? I'm, gonna, I'm following you, obviously. So I'm right, on the right. port side. Start right. All right. They're ready at the I'm, all right. So then you go ahead. What do you show me a stroke? So you want to do finish. arms away first. Uh huh. Body swing. Then you break your knees, and then you what this is called the catch. You drop in the water and you drive. I'm not gonna. And you drive. Okay. Yeah. What are the big muscles you're working here? It's really the uh, the leg muscles. Okay. Everyone thinks it's arms, but it's really legs to, yeah, to roll well. Leg. Well, you guys all have tank tops on, so I'm gonna roll up my polo here just to really show off my arms here as we go. <laughs> all right, we ready to do this? 
Yeah. All right, here we go. Let's go. We're going to go, guys. I'm really excited. So here comes the rowing. We're getting the instructions from the coxswain. We're rowing. And here we go. Okay, there's a stroke. The key is to lift the, whoop, there we go, whoop. I just dropped my oar pretty deep in the water. Nice job. How am I doing, oh, how am I doing, Brian? You're doing well. Yeah? Can you're, I join the team? You're a natural, definitely. How about that Dan fella? You know, Dan can come back. <laughs> yeah, all right, so guys, we're moving along here on the Chicago River to pretty good clip. Do you know how fast we go, Brian, or no? Uh, I don't. You don't? Okay, really great interview. Thanks, Brian. Really? I appreciate that key information. That's really helpful. No, guys, uh, this is awesome. This is so much fun. We're going to have more information on how we can sign up in a little bit. Felicia, back to you in the studio. Good morning, all right. We're getting ready to row here and do the weather at the same time, which is a little bit like rubbing your stomach and patting your head at the same time. I even think I messed up saying that. Brian, what's the ideal weather for rowing in Chicago? This is perfect. This is perfect, yeah. really? Yeah. I imagine low humidity is what you're going for, He's sunny skies, and not a lot of wind, right? Yeah, and not too hot. Well, we dialed this up perfectly then. We got temperatures in the low 70s throughout the morning today, sunny skies, and really not a lot of wind. And guess what? Pretty low humidity with dew points right around 59, 60 degrees. You'll notice the humidity rise as the day progresses, but really not too bad. Not going to feel too sticky out there. That's good news because we are going to get up to about 88 degrees today and sunny skies. So any extra humidity would have been bad news. But we're going to be in pretty good shape. A really nice day for late July. Well, they've kicked me out of the boat. We have returned to David being in the boat. Give a wave, David. I was calling him Dan the whole time. Uh, but David is back at his place. Why don't you guys go ahead and start rowing? It was really an amazing experience because what we, what Brian was talking about, everyone thinks that this is all arms, that that is what's rowing the boat. But really, it's a lot of legs. My legs are already starting to feel sore. My lower back, I, I think a lot of us have bad posture. You kind of crunch over like this. But you really got to straighten up that back and go. And what's really amazing about it is the rowing is kind of a natural thing. Once you get used to it but the real key is not to overthink it i was struggling more and more as we went on i don't think we were on camera when it was happening but when i kind of started overthinking where my position of my hands were where the position of my arms were where the oar was in the water how that was working the more i thought the worse i got it's one of those things that once you kind of got the stroke down stare ahead at the person in front of you for timing and to get that down and just follow them that was just my basic instincts as we were going about doing it i think i did pretty okay but as we go about uh talking and rowing is really difficult Brian, I don't know if you can hear me. How can people find out more information about crew? If anyone's interested, they can go to our website at chicagorowingunion.org, or they can reach out to us through Facebook. And it doesn't matter age, skill level, anything's fine. Exactly. You don't have to want to compete. You don't have to have ever done a sport, or you can be very competitive and want to you did very well talking and rowing, by the way. That was great. <laughs> nice job. All right, guys. I don't know if you could actually hear me when I said that. This is kind of busy, and they're working hard. Guys, this is really awesome. It was a great experience to be out here. Back to you in the studio.